Hello YouTube, this is Booty, and I want to talk about something that's kind of just been on my mind lately, and that is, we're going to be talking about StarCraft Remastered, and it's just, honestly, it's terrible release. Um, I still love this game, and I'm not going to go so far as to say that I regret buying it, but I don't know what the fuck Blizzard was thinking when they thought it was okay to release a game in this state. StarCraft Remastered. It, is filled with bugs. We're like five days into this game's release. It is filled with constant crashing, lagging, and it's like, isn't Blizzard supposed to be better than this? You know, don't they put effort into releasing their games? You know, I can understand as a developer, you know, you're not always gonna be able to fix every single bug that exists in your game before it's released, but like this game, it's, it's hardly even playable half the time. It's fucking ridiculous. Speaking of bugs, there's actually a couple other things I want to mention. Right now, I cannot change my avatar picture on the multiplayer at all. The option is there. You know how it gives you the option to unlock portraits, like in StarCraft 2? And you can change them between the Overmind, drones, SCVs, whatever the hell. It just straight up doesn't fucking work right now, at all. Okay, you change it, you equip it, doesn't work. Okay. And another thing I want to touch upon is the options. Okay, the options... I don't know why they will not save, okay? They, I, I literally have to redo the option settings every fucking time I log into this game. Okay, I, I want to turn off environmental effects in one playthrough. Well, you know, next time I boot it up, I gotta remember to fucking do that again. Okay, I don't want the portraits animated. I want them still. Or I want them off straight up. I gotta remember to do that again. You know, next time I boot up the game. It's like, give me a fucking break, dude. Give me a break. Blizzard's a triple A video game company, and they can't even make a functioning option settings. Give me a... It's just really fucking stupid, man. And then you got the difference of iCloud saves and regular saves for the campaign, which I still don't understand. I'm not sure if that was necessary to begin with. I might be missing something there. Granted, I'll admit I'm probably wrong about that. I don't understand the point of it, but... Here's one thing I do know, sometimes when I want to load an iCloud save or any save, it crashes. So sometimes I actually have to restart entire missions in the campaign because I just don't have the option to load in the middle of it. And sometimes when I'm in the mission and I try to save, it just straight up will not save at all. Even though I'm pressing OK, there's no visual cue that it's saving because it's not. It's just buggy, and I have to save in a new slot for some reason. And the options menu itself... Okay, this might just be my laptop being shitty. Maybe. Depending on how many other people have this issue. But there's also... There's always a delay to it when I try to open up the options menu. Especially when I boot up the game for the first time. You just press the options menu, and it takes like fucking 30 seconds before it actually pops up on the screen. And it's not even just the performance that I want to be talking about. And you know... I'm sure that Blizzard will eventually patch it and, you know, everything will be fine, but... Well, for one, we shouldn't even have to be dealing with that. Okay, as people that buy this game spend hard-earned money on this game. I pre-ordered this thing, too, okay? So I was really looking forward to this game and playing the crap out of it 24-7. can barely even do that half the time because sometimes Battle.net, you know, the Brood War version of Battle.net just don't fucking work right. But, there's other things about this remaster I want to be talking about, too. <clears throat> to begin with, this is actually one of the laziest remasters I've ever seen in my life. I'm sorry, but here's the thing. You'd think that the purpose of a remaster would be to modernize the game as much as possible. That way it's more accessible to new gamers, well, new players, you know what I mean? That means making the main menus more convenient, Adding in a few extra features, I'm not talking about the gameplay. I'm purely speaking from a UI perspective. Little things that StarCraft 2 has that this game doesn't have, you know? Which, I, I don't know why it doesn't have it. So in one of my videos, I was talking earlier about how the post-game screen in Remastered doesn't have the extra tabs that StarCraft 2 has. That's a good example of what I'm talking about. Wouldn't it be nice if you could see something like upgrades or a graph of how many units or supply you have roughly throughout every part of the game? There's not even like a watch replay from the beginning feature. 
And it's just one of those things where it's like, why? And I see so many people defend this shit. Oh, Brood Warrior Remastered is supposed to be as true to the original as possible. But there is a difference, okay? Touching the main menu and adding in features is not bad for the game. Why would it ruin Brood War to be able to see your upgrades compared to your opponent immediately? You know what you actually have to do in the remastered version of this game? The version released in 2017? If you want to know what your upgrades are like, you have to save the replay after the game ends. You gotta load up the replay. And then, as you're watching the replay, you have to click on the units throughout parts of the game whenever you want to know what the upgrades were looking like. That's what you have to do. By the way, the replay system in this game doesn't even have fucking tabs in it. Is there a reason why there's not tabs in it? Like, why can't- why is there not a production tab in the replay of this game? There's no units tab, there's no resources lost, there's no workers, income tab, nothing. It is literally verbatim StarCraft 1 replay system. Straight up, with almost no improvements. Like, I think- I could be wrong here, it might have always been a thing. But I think the only addition to the modern version of the replay is you can rewind. That's it. It's pathetic, and it especially doesn't make sense in context to esports. How the fuck are you helping casters, people that make a living, watching and analyzing Brood War competitive games, and they just have to deal with the fact that there's no fucking production tab? Yes, I know. That's something they've had to do forever, but with the remaster, why not have it now? You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make any sense. And like I said, so many people defend this, like, oh, you, you can't change Brood War. People, it's not like you can select more than 12 units at a time. Okay, that's a massive change. The game is balanced around that shit. The game is not balanced around there not being an income tab in the replay system. And another thing is just overall, like I said, this just feels half-assed, rushed out the door. And the bugs and the glitches are just proof of my point. Okay? Because if nothing else, you know, I could... I wouldn't be so mad if the game was at least functioning right, okay? But it's not. It's lazy, it barely adds anything at all to Brood War to make it a better game, and on top of that, it's laggy as shit. It's like, come on. Just the way Blizzard has dealt with all of it, the release of this game, and what little they added to it just comes across as, in a way, very, very pandering. Like, let me tell you what I'm talking about. One thing I was really looking forward to when I was going to buy this game is the different cinematics. Okay, let's let's go back to... I know they're different games, but they both serve the same purpose. Okay, I'm going to compare Brood War Remastered to Halo 2 Anniversary. <clears throat> in Halo 2 Anniversary, they change up the graphics quite a bit in the cinematics, or the cutscenes, whatever. It's almost lifelike. It's fucking amazing. You know, it's way better than how it looked in the old version. Blizzard, you know what they did to the cinematics in the remaster? Fucking nothing. They added subtitles, made it a little bit clearer, but it's very clearly the same graphics, same style. It's like, dude, I was actually looking forward to different graphics. That would have been cool. It would have been amazing to see a twist on the art style a little bit. And they've already done it with the fucking portraits, so it's like, why not? Okay, you do it for post-game screens, you do it for the briefing screens, you know, you add these concept art-looking images for the, the narration sections of the campaign, for the quote-unquote enhanced storytelling, which, it's not really that enhanced, you know, it's, it's like mildly better than a black screen, it's not that big of a deal. It's like they only avoided doing that between a mixture of laziness, because they just didn't want to do it, because it's extra work, and pandering. Because, let's face it, okay, if there's anything I've learned from the StarCraft 1 community is they really, really... Well, not even just StarCraft 1, but people in general, when it comes to an old game and a remaster or anything related to it, people grow up with something they're familiar with, they fucking hate change. They really, really, really hate change. And I understand that this is made for the fans, but if anything, this whole thing and how it's handled is just proof that you don't necessarily have to do every single thing that people want you to do. I know this is like, probably a controversial point. And this is coming from someone that has had plenty of experience myself with being upset at a game that makes changes to a game I'm familiar with. 
but it's okay. This is the big advantage between StarCraft Remastered and any other kind of remake of an old game, okay? You can turn off everything. You can turn off everything if you don't like it. You don't like the portraits, turn it off. You don't like any of the HD graphics, turn it off. You know, there's, there's no point in bitching. In my opinion, there's no point in bitching about the art style of the HD remake. Because if you don't like it, you can just turn it off. And it's not like these are just universally bad. It's a matter of opinion. You know what I'm saying? You know, just because you think the new Zergen portrait is hideous and stupid looking, that doesn't mean... That doesn't mean that there's not people out there that do appreciate it. As a matter of fact, personally, I really like the new portrait of the Zergling. I know that it's very strange compared to how it's usually portrayed in StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2, but for me, that's actually part of the the appeal of it, because it is so different. It's interesting, and very creepy, honestly, with the way the teeth look, it's like, holy fuck, dude. Oh, and one more thing, even when it comes to the new character portraits, they still manage to fuck it up somehow. The lip syncing in the new portraits is so bad, like, it just doesn't sync up with the audio at all. It's like watching an old Japanese movie with an English dub, that's what it's like, that's how off-the-mouth movements are. It makes sense in the original version of the game because, you know, it's old. It has an excuse. This game, released in 2017, doesn't have an excuse. They change the actual textures, they change how it looks, but they don't bother changing the mouth movements or the animations. The fuck out of my face. Another thing I want to talk about, this is another thing that I'm very, very disappointed in, is the lack of a reworked soundtrack. As a matter of fact, Blizzard even teased the new soundtrack a few weeks ago or a month ago, I don't know exactly when, but they released it on SoundCloud. It was basically a rework of the Terran theme in StarCraft 1, and there were people that loved it, there were people that hated it, and I'm pretty sure that, you know, Blizzard was only thinking, you know, they saw all the hate comments and they were like, well, fuck that, we're not doing it, because it's not in the game at all. Okay, there's no different Zerg themes or changed Zerg themes. No change Terran themes. It's just the same soundtrack from the very original version of the game, but it's like a little bit better, but you can barely fucking tell. I don't know. Like I said, you can just turn off everything if you don't like it, and I was interested in hearing the different spins on the soundtracks. I actually really liked the different Terran theme that they released on SoundCloud because it's like a mixture of StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2. And I really like most of the themes of Terran and StarCraft 2. I mean, there's definitely, you know, it's not perfect. There's parts of it that could be better. And that's my point. It could be better. Okay, if people don't like it, just fix whatever's wrong with it. At least the very obvious, objectively wrong shit. I just don't like how Blizzard just kind of pussied out on that whole concept entirely, just because a few people didn't like it. I think that was just, just kind of fucking nonsense. <clears throat> I just wanted to get all that out of my mind, okay? I'm sh Like I said, I'm sure it'll be better with time, but it could have been so much better. There's a lot of shit Blizzard has to fix. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. This is Booty signing off.